you ever had this problem? You go to check your YouTube page, realize you hit 100 subscribers, get really surprised, and then you get a coffee stain all over your floor. Fortunately, we've got a life hack to fix that today. All right, so here's everything that you need to fix your coffee stain. Uh, first one, some regulation hand sanitizer gel, some cornstarch, a little bit of lemon pledge, and of course, secret ingredient, raspberry vodka. And you take all this shit, and you can put them right in here. Right in here where they belong. I'm gonna move on to step three. So step three here, you're gonna isolate the stain. You're really gonna make that stain. Think about what it's done by removing all of the furniture from the room. All right, step four, you're gonna need your PPE. Our PPE for the job here today, regulation plaid shirt. Uh, whatever checker pattern or color you want is fine, just has to be plaid. All right, step five, now that you got your cleaning area properly isolated, you're just gonna grab your best cleaning brush. Uh, this is mine right here. You're just gonna go over to one corner of the area that needs to be cleaned, and we're just gonna lift up the stained area just so that we can uh, clean it nice and safely. You see, uh, if you need to, very easy to get the carpet into the washing machine this way if you need a little extra cleaning. Uh, very straightforward, probably the easiest way to do this for sure. This is sort of a step 5B. Uh, I like to, whenever I'm cleaning, if you need to uh, just get a little more flexibility, ease of access to work with what you can do, is just split your area to clean in half. Uh, just makes it a little more flexible, easier to work with. Just so always remember to clean away from yourself. Otherwise you'd be going to the hospital for being too clean. All right guys, got some bad news. Uh, it does look like the underlayment for the carpet is a bit stained here. So we're probably gonna have to give that a bit of a cleaning. Uh, no big problem, same sequence works pretty well for underlayment that it does for carpet. It's very similar material. It's made out of uh, materials and anything that's made out of materials can actually be cleaned using this secret method that I have here today. So that's great. So this cleans off pretty easily. Uh, it's just gonna be all these little staples that we're gonna have to clean out here later. But that's okay. Like. If this is just coming nice and loose like this, uh, pretty easy to clean. We're just gonna pop all this out. Just work its way back, just like so. Oh yeah, getting cleaner by the minute. All right, so we're on to step six. Uh, as you can see, already starting to look. Very nice and clean in here. Um, but unfortunately, like that carpet, probably still like a couple stains here like this this just normal wear and tear even like that underlayment had that stain you can see that's rotting through so we're gonna have to do a little bit more cleaning uh starting off with uh, somebody left carpet strip on my floor uh, i'm not sure why that's here because there's clearly no carpet in here at all so that's kind of unusual so we're just gonna clean that up next is uh step six here all right, important part of step six here is just you want to be real nice and delicate and precise so that you're not making any excess mess as you go through and just do some cleaning. Precision is really the key here so that you're uh, making sure everything's as clean as it can possibly be. All right, so things are looking pretty good and clean in here now. Uh, for tough stains on your carpet though like this, you're gonna wanna get the oldest Windex that you can find. Just apply it, just a little bit of it right there. Just like so. And then after that's done, you're gonna take your cork underlayment, and take that Windex, get it the hell out of the way. And then you're just gonna cover over the whole area. 
pretty much just like this so that you'll never see that stain again. And then you're just gonna go over here, your trusty cleaning staple gun. And you're just gonna banish all the problems that you used to have to the shadow room forever. All right, now that you've covered up all the stains on your particular carpet that you used to have, like the memories that you used to have the fourth grade when you asked a girl out and she just laughed in your face, the next thing that we're gonna do, because living on pork is bullshit, I'm just gonna upgrade that a little bit. Seven, pretty sure. Now that you got your new carpet, which is a hardwood floor, uh, stains are pretty well hidden at this point, I'd say. Uh, you gotta clean this shit up before your wife gets home or she's gonna kick your ass. Uh, step eight here is just making sure you gotta get a high pressure nail gun so that when you're cleaning your baseboards back together, you're 100% uh, sure that they're not gonna go anywhere. A lot more effective Clorox, bleach, uh, even lemon pledge. All right, so we're on to step nine here, the last final step, which is just to put back the anarchy, the chaos that you've created throughout the day. Ah, uh, it's not bad. Realistically, once I get this done here, nobody will be able to tell that there was uh, ever any coffee stain at all in this dining room. Should go pretty good, I think. Now, you're gonna make sure here that you're gonna wanna put a couple of these bad boys on any furniture that you had in the room after you're done cleaning, just so that you don't scratch your new carpet very important otherwise uh, all this work will then for nothing and at this point in the cleaning process there's no going back so you can see here now furniture back in oh, it turned out pretty good I'd say grand total like it's a pretty simple little life hack uh, 1800 bucks in wood probably three to four thousand dollars in tools if I had to include the cost of the little air compressor the table saw uh, all the little bits and bobs here. So like pretty affordable too. Uh, definitely recommend it for any time you do get a stain in your carpet. All right, 10th and final step. You can see here clearly, looks like that stain came out pretty good. But uh, just to ensure, you know, prevention is the key to success uh, in the future. You don't get any more coffee stains on your floor. Start drinking whiskey in the morning like a real man. Thank you.